Hey, we're the McCormicks. I'm Cody and this is my wife, Lisa. We're creatives that work from home and we're on a mission to build our dream home offices. I'm an adventure filmmaker and every day on the job looks a little bit different. And I'm an illustrator and graphic designer. So in other words, I draw for a living. Let's go take a look at what we've been dreaming up. This is the office space that I'm turning into my office. I really need space that I can do video and photo editing. I also need a co-working space for when my brother, who's my business partner, comes on over and we can work together. And also some storage for gear would be really nice. Yeah, as much as I've loved having your cameras on our kitchen table, uh, I think it might be time for some shelves. That's, okay, we can work that in the plan. <laughs> We're gonna be scraping popcorn ceilings. We're gonna be refinishing a wood floor under this carpet. We're also gonna be putting in an accent wall. So my goal is to take my current office space and give it a fresh update. Um, I really want it to feel bright and inspiring and also just have enough space for all of my digital work stuff as well as my art supplies. And we'll be repainting all of the walls as well as completely refinishing these bookshelves over here cool. and adding a dark accent color to the window trim as well as painting the French doors black. That's more like it. Now I'm just patching up the walls a little bit. Under the carpet, we found these beautiful oak wood floors. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the four steps on how you can refinish a wood floor yourself. Step one, we're gonna remove all the baseboards. Step two, we're gonna sand down the floors, get a fresh start. Step three, we're gonna stain it. And step four, we're gonna give it a clear coat. We're gonna be using a few different sanders. The first one is a drum sander. This is rented from the Home Depot tool rentals. Every time we sand, we're using three types of paper going from really coarse to really fine. The second sander that we're gonna use is this sander, which is called an edge sander. We'll run it right along here and we'll see as the color of the old wood floor gets taken up. Next step is we're going to be working with a square buff sander. This is the last sander that we're going to use and it allows us to make sure we're not getting any lines between our edge sander and the main drum sander. What do we got going on? Look at those knee pads. Tonight we're going to be staining the floor. We've got our stain all mixed up, so it's going to match the floor to the outside of the room. We're about to do our polyurethane coats. Polyurethane is what protects the wood floors for a long time. The first thing I do is just brush it cross grain, and then I pull it out from the wall with the grain. We just finished the first coat with the polyurethane. That needs to set for 12 hours and then we can recoat it. Something I'm super excited about is transforming my bookshelf. Um, it's my favorite feature in the office, but it definitely needs a little bit of sprucing up. So first I'll be adding paint to the walls as well as the shelves. And then secondly, I'll add some crown molding at the top as well as decorative trim on the shelves themselves. And then lastly, I'll be adding some light fixtures. We just finished priming them and now um, I'm about to go and cut the trim. I'm going to measure each shelf individually and I have my phone on me so I can take notes of the length for each specific shelf. Enough messing around and <laughs> we're going to put on a dual belt here. 
they have a lot of stuff to carry. I'm going to um, quickly mark all of my boards and make a little cut list. I'm just going to start with um, cutting one, eight, one of the sides to the 45 degrees. Put the first piece of trim on with the nail gun and it's looking pretty good so we're going to keep moving on and uh, do the rest. I'm going to be painting um, the bookshelves as well as also the crown molding and the baseboard so it's going to be a really dramatic dark green color. I did a good job taping or else this will be embarrassing. Nice. I'm going to be installing these uh, pendant lights. I'll go drill some holes and put in the wall anchors. obviously figure out how to hide the cord but um, it's really fun seeing them up. I gotta warm up a little bit before we uh, get on to the painting. You know, a little bit of high knees. Do you paint your nails yourself? Yeah. What you think? They're custom, that's for sure. Alright guys, come on in. So this is the new office. Um, I'm obsessed. It is literally my dream office. I'm so excited. Over here I have my desk and workspace where I do all my illustrations and graphic design. Did a little gallery wall of my artwork. Um, and then here is, I usually set up an easel. The light is perfect in here so I'm able to paint. Um, and then I have my bookshelves. The which, bookshelves turned out so good. Yes, I, I can't believe it. Um, it's such a big change. It's um, fun seeing all your art pieces like over the years. Some of the favorites, you know, like and you yeah. have like a display case almost, right? Totally. Good job. Love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited with how this turned out. I had a couple goals and I think we nailed them. Uh, so this is obviously my desk space. I'm able to edit videos and photos of all the projects that we work on. And over here, we've got a little co-working desk space. Yes. This is the gear storage. Oh my gosh. So finally, have a place to put my gear. Thank God, yay! I don't think you notice how much you need yeah. a space that inspires you. And now seeing this, I'm like, wow, I feel like I can create in here. Yeah, I I have to say I feel more excited to work. Like I want to like be in my office right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I honestly can't wait to throw work-life balance out the window. 